Yeah, it's it's definitely, you know, it's it's a tremendous opportunity, but somehow it's managed to to really maintain a sense of, of reality to it. Uh, you know, when you, Alex, when I played in a band with Alex freshman year, he was the bass player, and he sang backup sometimes, and we recorded. Um, our first single with him, and he sang back up on that, and it was like, we never really, you know, thought to ourselves, you know, like, Al is going to be the guy that gets big, like, we always thought, you know, we'd push it as a band, or, you know, we never really thought about something explosive like American Idol, and then when he dropped out of school and did his solo stuff, uh, you know, we thought he was going down there because his his cousin's a really well-known, like, country singer, so that was going to be sort of his launch pad into the singer-songwriter community. So it's sort of been really natural that, you know, when he came back from so I might uh, Hollywood Week for Idol and had us play with him in Boston, it was just, you know, we were his band and we played with him. And then when they came back for Idol and had to, had him do his, like, home show, we played the home show with him at our house in, in Durham. And then he came back and played with the guys from Undertow for his his uh, homecoming show for the, the uh, end of Idol and stuff. So it's, like, it's something that, I guess... You know, he always said that he would do. He's like, if I, you know, if I break it, I'll do my best to bring you guys along. You know, whether it's as my band or as an opener or whatever. And, and he really stuck to it. And I think that we've still retained that sense of quality as musicians for sure. And uh, it's just been—it's really neat to go along for the ride. But we never, I think, feel like he's like, you know, our boss or anything. It's still writing music with our friends. It's just a huge opportunity to play in front of more people. Interested in what he's doing.